Hey everyone, you're watching Sidestep Adventures. It's Robert. I'm out here with Brian and Cody. And today we're taking a road trip in an old car down some old highways here in Georgia. And uh, this is our first stop. We're at the uh, Whitesville United Methodist Church, which was established in 1837. And we're about to take a quick look at this church and then walk around the cemetery a little bit before we get back on the road. So this church is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was established in 1837, which is usually not when the building was built. It's generally when the congregation first came together. So this building, we just learned from uh, this handy historic marker over here, actually dates back to 1854. So it's still been around for a very long time and a really cool, beautiful old church building. It's actually currently for sale. I was kind of surprised to see that sign out here. I hope that uh, whoever buys it, it goes to a, a good home. Um, I guess there are no church services held here currently, seeing as the church is for sale, but that's just a guess. But uh, we're going to take a quick look over here at the cemetery too. As Brian just told me, the cemetery predates the, uh, the building of the church. And we're not going to spend a uh, real long time here. We're just going to take a look at some of these more interesting graves in the back. I'm seeing dates like 1921, 1940 on these stones. Then here's a stone. Take a look at these two. This one's on the ground. This is in memory of Mrs. Eliza, wife of Jacob Little, who died June 1st, 1854, in the 53rd year of her age. So that's a pretty old one. Um, and then I wanted to take a look at this one, but it looks blank over here. And it's uh, it's blank over here as well. Oh, man. So uh, there's uh, nothing on that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can just barely make it out. All right, so I got my handy dandy O light here. So maybe we can read this writing that Brian pointed out. Um, it says, here lies Sarah Witten. She died the 15th May, 1853, aged 56 years. And you can see that, that engraving is just so faint on that stone. Look how close this grave is to the uh, edge of the road here. That's interesting. I mean, it is just right on the side of the road. This is Laura Cordelia Green, born October 11th, 1842, died July 15th, 1904. Said the golden gates were opened, a gentle voice said, come, and with farewells unspoken, she calmly entered home. That's cool. Now look at this interesting headstone right here it's uh it's not sitting on its pedestal like it's supposed to be but there's some pretty cool engraving on it it's just got a really cool shape it's in memory of mrs s esperane reese wife of reverend j reese born december 20th 1820 died September 13th, 1867. These are the ones that I really wanted to point out and get on video, um, these old unmarked rock tombs. And these are probably, I'm, I'm definitely gonna say these are the earliest graves out here, most likely. And they're just some interesting, very interesting graves. There's a uh, children's grave right here and it actually looks like it may have at one point had something on it right there but uh that's gone just some really unique graves out here and this is just a pile of field stone and we've seen this sort of thing before but uh this style of grave always interests me i don't know why maybe it's just because they are so early
These over here actually are marked, so we'll take a look at them real quick. It's Reuben Mobley, born January 20th, 1791, died August 19th, 1841. He was for 25 years a class leader in the M.E. Church, and now his words do follow him for the for he yet liveth. This is uh, that M. Mrs. Mrs. C. C. Mobley, consort of J. J. R. Oh no, of R. R. Mobley, born June twenty first, eighteen o five. Died September 19th, 1857. She was... Hmm, I'm having a hard time reading that Let's one. Uh, she was... Ooh. Uh, we won't spend too much time trying to figure that one out. There's another fallen headstone. Of Mrs. R. Mobley, consort of... L.W. Mobley, M.D., born November 4th, 1820, born November 4th, 1820, died August 27th, 1819. Now that ain't right. Thou art not dead, but liveth. Am I reading that wrong? I see. 1820, November 4th, 1820, died August 27th. 1849. 1849. Yeah, you yeah. can see the the line of the four right there, just barely engraved in the stone. Soon people will think it's, a, it's in the front. Yeah. All right, this is the last one we're going to look at. Here's L.W. Mobley, M.D., born August 31st, 1820, died April 1st, 1853. He died pretty young. In the minds of his usefulness, in the midst of his usefulness, heaven, no, he was called to his reward on high. In the midst of his usefulness, he was called to his reward on high. All right, guys, well, we're about to get back on the road, but uh, I just read this historic marker sign over here and uh, thought I'd share it with y'all. It says, the adjacent cemetery predates the church building. It has several types of burial markings from the earliest stacked stone and brick graves to metal mail-ordered grave markers. There are numerous family plots defined by retaining walls, copings, and iron fences. Many graves are unmarked as uninscribed field stone markers were inadvertently removed. The earliest burial date on a marker is 1844 for Reuben Mobley, one of the church founders.